Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys briefly how you can use titles inside of DaVinci Resolve 17, including how to edit settings about those titles. So when you're working on your video timeline in the edit tab, generally speaking, you're going to have your main video clip set to video track one. That is going to be the most background of your video tracks. Everything that would be on a video track two or video track three is going to show on top of whatever is on video track one. Therefore, in most cases, you're going to be putting your titles in video track two and above so that they layer on top of your main background video. So you can find titles by going over to the effects library inside of the edit tab. And then if you go down here to this box, you'll have the toolbox and then you look for titles. On the cut page, which is a different workflow in Resolve, you can also find titles in the top left, three spots over from Media Pool. So we go over here to where it says titles, and you'll have all of the titles listed here in a similar fashion. One of the really cool features in Resolve 17 is that you can actually hover over titles now to see a preview of the title before you actually drag it and put it onto your timeline. So if you scrub through the title, you'll see the individual frames of that title before you add it to your timeline. So you can, in a sense, preview the entire clip at once. You can also see the animation previewed as well. So it's really easy to get a sense of what the title is going to look like. OK, so let's add a title to our timeline. I'm going to take this simple and clean title. I'm going to left click it, hold down the left mouse button and drag it onto video track two. So when the title is on your timeline, you'll know it because there will be a brown box with the new title added. Let go and it'll be committed to the timeline. So now we can preview the title in its default state. Make sure snapping is enabled and then take the timeline cursor and position it at the start of your title. Then we can play the title by hitting space on the keyboard and it'll be layered over any background clips. It may take a second to run the title the first time as the video wasn't completely cached yet. But if you get the blue bar to show above the title, then the next time you play it, it should play much smoother since now the title is in the memory. Now, most of these default title templates have a node on the Fusion page called a keyframe stretcher. So we're able to take our titles and expand the length of them. And then the animations will have their positions adjusted automatically in most cases, at least from what I've seen. So if I hover over the left side of this title with the trim edit mode selected, which you can have by hitting T on the keyboard, and then we expand it by two seconds or something like that. And now we replay the title. You'll see that the animation at the start is still there. And then the ending animation has been pushed two seconds towards the end. And so here we can see it's going to fade out just like before, but delayed two seconds from where it was previously. So if you just want to expand the duration of the title, that is generally going to be all you need to do. Now, if you want to edit anything else, then you're going to need to go to the inspector. So you left click on your title, make sure that there's an orange box around it. And then the inspector window, you can open it in the top right if it's not there already. And with the title selected, you should see video here and then title indicating that we're editing the title settings and then all of the controls that the original creator of the title decided that we should have access to. So for the default templates, this is going to include most of the stuff that you would want to change. For instance, the most obvious example would be what the text says itself. So if we want to change the sample text to something else, I can select all of it. I'm going to hit control A on the keyboard to select everything in the text box. I'm going to delete it. And then I am going to say, let's do Chris all caps and then tutorials putting an enter key in the middle so that it takes up two lines could even put a little apostrophe up there next to Chris to make it Chris's a couple other common settings we may want to change could include the font so you can see here font is a drop down we can select any font we have installed on our computer and it will be updated here so I'll just go ahead and grab something like baby snowy I know I use that font all the time and then we can move down here to color so with color, you can see we have the option to select one singular color that's going to define this box shape, the top text color and the center text color. So let's just go ahead and select a color here. I'll just go and select a pre-selected color and I'll hit OK. And then just like that, we've updated the color for all of these. But now at this point, you may be taking a look through all of the settings and think that there could be something else you want to change. 
So you actually have full control over editing exactly how these title templates are going to work, including redefining the animations if you're up for doing some keyframing work. So in DaVinci Resolve 17, you can define colors to be one color like this. But if we spend a minute and we go over to the fusion page, then we can see that we can make the color a gradient instead, just as one example for what you can do with full control over your titles. So if we go up here to the top of our title, we'll see a little button here. This basically indicates go over to the fusion page. You can see the same icon there that we have down below. So fusion icon. So the fusion page is meant for creating 3D effects, including titles. So either way you want to get there, you just click and you can move over to that page. And as long as you had the title selected, you should see it previewed here, but without the background video that was on video track one. So now we have this node section here and with nodes, you're able to take different components and to create 3D effects by connecting them together. Uh, for right now, though, we have a node group for the title that was pre generated. So what we want to do is double click on it to see everything that goes into this title effect. Depending on which title you selected, it may be a little overwhelming at first, but if you spend a minute to look through it, you can probably get a sense of which node corresponds with which element. For instance, for instance, small text here corresponds with the small text up there. You can also see the little gizmo. If we happen to move one of them, you can see what it's actually changing visually. Uh, I'm going to let go and then hit control Z. If you make a change you didn't mean to, you can always undo it with control Z. Uh, big text for this one in the center here also includes that little box outline, apparently. And then we have color as a node. So we can see that all of these nodes to the left end up feeding into the color node before ending up in the final media output, which basically means that the color node is going to be determining the color for everything that comes before it including the small text and the big text. So now if we want to tell the color node to be a gradient instead, we can click on it. We can see type here as a drop down. By the way, if you don't see all of these settings, you may need to just double click on the title up here in the inspector for that node. So sometimes the menus are collapsed. So just double click on them to get all of the settings to show. And you should be able to see all of the different tabs. So back to the color node, we can change it from solid color to gradient. And now that it's a gradient, we can define two or more color points where it's going to transition between. So let's take this one on the left here, give it one color. Um, let's see here, maybe something like that, but a little brighter. So we need to add an extra red, green and blue to shift it more towards white. And then on the second point, clicking on this little triangle, just like again for Photoshop, um, let's change it again. So Maybe we can just have it be a really intense red. Okay, so something like that. Now currently, we only see one color showing up here. So we're going to need to adjust the gradient a little bit further. I'm going to hold control middle mouse wheel to zoom in here. And we're going to make sure that there's actually multiple colors showing here. So what we need to adjust are these start and end points to control the gradient. So you can either use the gizmos and drag them around like this. And as I move it, you'll see how the color shifts on the gradient. So these starting endpoints basically determine where the colors are going to start shifting. And then we can take this endpoint and bring it in here. And wherever we position them is going to determine how the gradient is going to look. So if I position them vertically like this, then that means that the right side color or the end color is going to be more towards here since this is the end point we're controlling. And then the start point up here is going to be that first color or the deeper red. So I can just kind of adjust this and figure out where I want to position everything. We can also make it slanted if we want. So we could do diagonals like this. And then you can see in the top left now we have that deep red. And then in the bottom right, we have that uh, kind of more orangey red. And that's basically one way that you can adjust a title in ways that you may not actually see over on the inspector in the edit page. So that's just one example of a setting we can change about a title that may not have been exposed on the edit page. So obviously going into the nodes is going to make things a little bit more advanced. In most cases in DaVinci Resolve 17, from what I've seen, they've done a pretty good job of exposing most of the settings that you'd actually want to change. 
So in most cases, you probably aren't going to have to go over to the Fusion page, but if you wanted to get more advanced or there was one setting you were looking for like this, then hopefully that helps you guys out. So in a nutshell, that is the basics of how you can use and edit titles inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. I hope this video has helped you guys out and getting started with titles for your videos. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.